I just did an Akashic Record reading with a client where we went and spoke to one of her inner children and I wanted to go over some of the key highlights in case it helps you on your journey as well. What we were doing originally is I was teaching her the technique of quantum jumping in your Akasha field in a different timeline version of you because oftentimes our inner children are caught in these timestamps where they think that trauma and PTSD is happening to them over and over again and that's where behavioral patterns and triggers come from so you as the higher self have to come in and move them outside of that energetic timestamp and bring them into the new timeline with you so you can all move forward. So when we are doing this type of work, we need to come in with questions. We need some type of topics <laughs> for our inner children or even your higher self because if you're just going in meditation and waiting for them to say something, if you're a logical and analytical person and you like input and output, <laughs> it's a lot easier if you go in with direction and um, a result coming out of it. You also have multiple inner children within you just like you have multiple higher selves above you. <laughs> And so the way that you would talk to a five-year-old is different than you would a 12-year-old. They also have different perspectives and experiences and memories, and they need different types of support. And sometimes you'll have inner children within you that have the same core wounds, but they're going to perceive it in different ways because of the different ages. So we had a pre-talk before we went to go in and talk to her inner child or one of her inner children. And I was like, okay, let's talk about one of the biggest hurdles that you're facing or where you want to create the most forward movement in your life. And she was saying that she was having trouble with uh, communication and accountability and believing in self. Um, and she wanted to become an energy healer. She's already an energy healer, but more so helping other people maybe in a professional manner and building a business around it. But she just felt like she was stuck and not able to do the things that you need to do in order to get a business up off the ground, like lacking motivation and confidence. As we were talking, we found the root of it with her inner child and that version had a very negative experience with her parents. And she grew up in a very like controlling household and was always afraid to speak her truth and she really had to suppress her emotions and her opinions and was always told that she was doing things wrong and then had like really high expectations that she was hold holding over self and it made her like an overachiever and a perfectionist and then scared to start new things because she just felt like she was going to be a failure at them. So she was afraid that she would not be holding herself accountable that you need to in order to run like a spiritual business or any type of business. <laughs> and if you grew up in a controlling household, accountability can feel like control. And control is something that I have had to work on with myself because I grew up in a very controlling household. And so it put those lenses over me and I became very controlling of self, like with perfectionism and overachieving and just trying to uh, push myself into being the best all the time. Let's change accountability to structure. Okay? <laughs> structure helps us feel safe and secure. If accountability is giving us those controlling feelings, your inner child is basically saying, you're not going to control me like my parents or guardians did. <laughs> and so I'm not going to let you go get into these things like starting a business or, or being an energy healer, because that means that we're going to be controlled like we were when ch we were children. And so we had to go in and speak with her inner child and tell her like, hey, nobody's trying to control you, okay? Actually, we're trying to take those responsibilities from you. All we need you to do is be free and have fun and be in magic and whimsy and do, you know, enjoyous things. Let the adult version of us handle those adult responsibilities like learning how to do stuff on the computer and social media marketing and just in all those structural things but that's not your responsibility. I also had to work through the memory of the thing that happened with her parents because she was holding on to that and when I was asking her hey is there anything that you want to talk to us about she said I'm holding so much pain from this thing that happened and so I said well let's talk about it and as we were talking about it the adult that I was talking to was having all of these emotions like come up and like feeling very just intense and scared and I said that's your inner child processing through those things you still have to feel it with them so it comes out of your body and and we walked and talked through that <laughs> and then afterwards her inner child and her felt a million times better because she was seen and heard and validated for what had happened in her past while also being freed from it and us saying that's never going to happen to you again you are loved and you are protected and we are moving into the new reality where you can have fun and be joyful and just thrive but we can let all of that stuff go we helped her feel super empowered and strong her little girl inside and I showed her the adult version's mission her sole purpose here I said actually 
you as the inner child are actually going to be helping other people's inner children feel strong and empowered just like we're doing with you right now that's what energy healing is that's the type of business that your adult wants to get into it, it doesn't it feel great to feel this way and i know you would love for other people and other inner children to feel this too and she was like yes <laughs> and we helped her go into the unicorn realm <laughs> it was super fun <laughs> but both of them felt much better and the technique that i was teaching her that's a technique that I teach in inner child healing sessions. It's not just for that one inner child. You can do that with any past versions of you or inner children. Sometimes it's easier for like a guide to show you how to do it first. But <laughs> anyway, I wanted to share these things in case it helps you on your journey. If you've been wondering like, why can't I move past these things? Usually it's because you have an inner child that experienced it and you have to talk to them on their level and figure out what age they are so that you can offer them the best type of support. Any questions, I would love to hear them in the comments or what your thoughts are and I hope you have a super magical day.